DeepSeek R1 came out and made some waves, but all that hype completely overshadowed another tool that came out just days later. This one beats DeepSeek V3 in the LLM benchmarks, but on top of that, it can generate images and videos that are on par with some of the other leading video generators. The best part is it's completely free. It is also open source to download and run locally. The web version could switch to paid at some point in the future, but as of the filming of this video, it is completely free and I haven't hit any limits. This is Quen 2.5 Max from Alibaba with a familiar chat interface. Here's some of the benchmarks. It wins in a lot of categories, evaluating overall reasoning, knowledge, problem solving, and coding. They've actually released a suite of over 100 models, all open sourced. You can see right in this interface, there's multiple options down here. I'll go through these left to right. So I'll get to the video stuff later, but that's what really sets this apart. First, let's test the LLM. I'll start with a simple prompt. If a plant that doubles its size every day covers a lake in 30 days, how much time will it take for two plants to cover half the lake? Send that. It does pretty good at going through this step-by-step -step reasoning. And it came to the right answer, 28 days. That is perfect. Here's one that used to trip up a lot of LLMs. Which number is larger, 420.69 or 420.7? Okay, yeah, I got that right too. It defaults to doing that step-by-step -step reasoning, which helps out a lot. So let's do something a little bit harder. You are scheduling a tournament with five matches and eight teams. Each match must have exactly two teams and no team can play more than once. Two teams A and B can only compete if team C has already played. However, team C can only play in the second match or later. Is there a valid schedule? If so, propose one. If not, explain why. So it did a whole lot of thinking here and it came to the incorrect answer. There's actually not a valid match, so it did not get that one. So I'll try and Alternate version of that that does have an answer. Actually started off with saying, yes, there's a correct answer. It looks like that got a good answer. So it solved that one when there was a valid answer. When it's a trick question, I guess it struggles a little more. Here's another one that they typically struggle with. How many words are in your response to this prompt? There are eight words in my response to this prompt. Nope, that is 10 words. All right, let's try something creative. Describe a sunset as if you were a poet from the 1800s. It's not bad. Like this second paragraph here, yon sun descends, a monarch in retreat, crowned in amber, robed in twilight's sheet. His fiery chariot sinks beneath the sea, leaving whispers of eternity. Yeah, not bad. We'll do one that's a more practical use case. I only have five ingredients, flour, eggs, chicken, garlic, and butter. What is the most delicious food I can make using only these five ingredients? Give me the full recipe and cooking instructions. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Looks like it stuck to just those five ingredients, gave me the full instructions, and looks like that would actually be pretty good. So it did a great job at something that's actually useful. AI is the future of many industries, but one it's already making a major impact in is marketing. In the description, I have a free PDF provided by HubSpot that covers AI marketing strategies straight from leaders at HubSpot, A16Z, and Asana. This cuts through the noise and shows how marketing leaders are using AI right now. It covers seven proven strategies for implementing AI across your marketing operations and how to future-proof your career and enhance your strengths with AI. Instead of wasting time figuring it out on your own, use their playbook with tested frameworks and strategies to level up your marketing. Again, that's a completely free download using the link down in the description. Thank you to HubSpot for the free resource and for sponsoring this video. But now let's try out artifacts. This is kind of like in cloud where it will generate the code and then have a preview of what that will look like while you're working on it. Well, I'll start with something basic. Write a script for a bouncing yellow ball within a sphere, make sure to handle collision detection properly, make the sphere slowly rotate, make sure the ball stays within the sphere. All right, we've got all the code over here that is done generating. We've got the yellow ball in there. That's moving a little too slow, so let's change that up. Let's make the ball move faster. Also switch it to 20 balls. I did a great job with that. For some reason, there's just one ball that's going slower than the others. Let's change it up again. Now make it interactive. When I click in the circle, a new ball appears. Also make them multicolored. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Yeah, every time I click, it adds a new one in there. wonder how many I, many I can add in here. All right, I'll stop there. I don't know how many will let me add. Still going. Did a great job with that one. Now I'll start a new chat, and this time I'll try without artifacts to do some more coding. It'll be another animation, but this will be more complex for just a one shot. There's been a bunch of people testing out these types of animations with different LLM tools on Twitter. I modified one of those. It'll be an animation of different falling letters with different colors. All right, so we've got all the code here. It's a full 93 lines. Copy that. Pop it in here. Hit play. Let's see how it goes.
I, yeah, that looks perfect. They're even interacting with each other and kind of bouncing off each other as they fall. Yeah, looks perfect. All right, and let's turn on web search and see how it does finding recent information. Who is playing in the Super Bowl this weekend? And I actually don't know the answer to this one, but I assume these sources are correct on the side. Let's just double check real quick. Yep, Chiefs and the Eagles. Got it right. All right, so that is all awesome. It's a very solid LLM. Probably the best out there that has free unlimited usage, plus the artifacts and web search features. It does also have the image and video generation. Let's start with image. There is an option for aspect ratio. And I'll do a few familiar prompts. A woman giving a TED talk. She is on stage speaking. The TEDx logo is in the background with a presentation on the screen about cats. It does generate pretty fast. Yeah, it did a pretty good job. The logo looks good. It's kind of weird that it's also on the screen as well, but yeah, it's not too bad. All the words on here, the letters look good, but it doesn't spell anything, although I didn't ask it to. Her face is a little morphed though, but all around, not bad. Do a photo of a red sphere on top of a blue cube. Behind this is a green triangle. On the right is a dog and on the left is a cat. Another common prompt to test with. Terrible job on the first try. Let's try again. Let's switch back to a one by one aspect ratio. Dead. Didn't follow the entire prompt. Maybe if I kept going with this, eventually I'd get one that worked out. It's sort of okay prompt adherence. It is definitely not the best image model out there. Weirdly, the video generation is way better than the image generation. First, here's a few more prompts I ran in here. Though it does pretty good with anime. Honestly, not very good at anything else compared to things like Midjourney, Flux, Ideagram, Recraft, or any of the other recent image generators. The prompt adherence can be okay. I could not get anything realistic out of it, but I definitely can with video. So let's generate some videos. I've actually been blown away by this so far. You can see their little previews here down below. They do a couple different ones each time. Solid. A mother gently cradles her newborn baby. The camera slowly moves in, focusing on her peaceful expression as she looks down at the child in her arms. Again, you can switch up the aspect ratio if you want. I'll keep these on 16.9. This is definitely one of the slower video generators. It can take around 10 minutes to generate a video sometimes. I've had some videos get done in like five minutes, some around 10, even up to 15. Some models like Kling are a little slow, but not this slow. And this is nowhere near as fast as something like Runway or Sora. I'll come back when this is all done. That looks incredible. This is on par with anything you would get out of any of the other leading video generators. And I've already run a bunch of other tests in here, so I'll go through those so I don't have to sit here and wait for it to generate each time. So there it is, jump in and start generating while it's still free. And if you want to go more in depth on Futurepedia, we have over 20 comprehensive courses on AI and how to incorporate it into your life and career to get ahead and save time. You can get started for free using the link in the description or check out this video with 13 AI tools that can save you a thousand hours in 2025. And I'll see you in the next one.